Welcome back to DIY No Need to Cry with Eve Elise. Hi, my crafty family. Today I'll be showing you how I made this blue and yellow damask vase. DIY decoupage vase, a how-to tutorial and upcycle. Please turn on your notification bell so that you can get notified every time I upload a video. Let's get started. I found this vase in someone's trash and I liked the size and shape of it, so I grabbed it. I didn't know what I was going to do with it at the time, but I knew it was a great piece for an upcycle. Before doing anything, I made sure that I washed it out thoroughly. Using a pouncer brush and white matte acrylic paint, I gave the whole vase a coat. Some of you have had trouble with this part, so I'm going to take you through this and give you some tips that might help. First off, you want to make sure to use matte or chalk paint for this part. Second, you don't have to use a pouncer brush, but I personally like the way it distributes the paint over a brush. You want to load the brush with paint only. Do not wet the brush or water down the paint. Pounce the paint on. Do not brush it on. And make sure to distribute all of the paint before loading the brush again. And don't keep going over the same spot. The first coat is not meant to make it opaque. You should end up with a very thin coat of white paint as you see here. Let that fully dry before adding another coat. In between coats, so you don't waste time washing your brush after every coat, wrap your brush in plastic wrap so that the paint doesn't dry out and ruin the brush. While the vase dries, you want to prepare the designs you will be decoupaging. I use three of these damask blue napkins to decorate my vase. I cut each one out, including the half pieces, because I'll be using those for the vase as well. Once you've cut them out, you want to separate the plies of paper. Prepare all the designs the same way. You don't have to use paper napkins. You can use fabric, printouts, tissue, or anything else you can glue down, really. Now that the face is fully dry, it's time to decoupage. Using a brush, Mod Podge, and the napkin cutouts, you can now create the design. Before gluing them down, you might want to arrange them on the base to get an idea of how you want them. Brush an even layer of Mod Podge on the spot where you'll be placing the napkin design. Make sure you don't have glops of glue before placing it, and try and work quickly as you don't want the glue to dry before placing the napkin. Place the napkin and using a piece of plastic wrap, smooth the napkin down and work out any of the wrinkles. Always work from the center outward. Then give it another coat of Mod Podge to seal it in. Again, working from the center outward. Continue to place each design the same way. I find that the quality of napkin plays a huge part in how easy it is to work with. I've worked with all kinds of paper napkins, and the napkins that are made specifically for decoupaging, I feel, are way more resilient than others. They glue down with fewer wrinkles and are easier to smooth out. Cheaper napkins aren't as durable and will rip way easier. They will absorb the glue to the point that you can barely smooth it out without ripping it. They also tend to wrinkle more. Basically, what I'm saying is that it's not just learning the technique of decoupage that will determine the outcome. The kind and quality of paper napkin have a lot to do with it as well, at least in my opinion. Like I tell everyone, 
This technique has a learning curve. If you're having trouble with decoupage or it's your first time trying it, don't go straight to the project. Buy some cheap paper napkins from the dollar store and practice before attempting it on a big project with the good napkins. I decided to cut a piece of the design to decoupage the rim of the vase. Let that side completely dry before continuing. You want to do the exact same pattern to the other side. I'm trying to make sure it's as evenly spaced out on both sides as it can be and also get the top part to be the same height as the other side. I glued the top part first so that I could let it go and do the rest without losing its position. Finish that side and let that completely dry before starting the next section. Here you see I've already done the space in between on this side. Now I'm just going to duplicate the same thing on the last side left. You're going to need five of the damask designs for this. I put two full ones aside and cut the rest of the designs out from the remaining three. Now cut out a matching design. Then I cut the last one out as you see here. I then decoupage them down in this order.
To complete the look, I added two more of these to each of the remaining sides of the rim. And here is the completed design on the vase. You can leave it as is and seal it or add color to it as I'll be doing. I find that for this I like to use a small paintbrush and thin the paint down with a little bit of water. One of the most asked questions I get is, why can't I just paint the vase all yellow first and then do the decoupage? Most paper napkins will require you to use a white base coat in order for it to look right. Or at the very least, it has to be a very light color so that the paper napkin doesn't get muted out by the paint color. Honestly, you probably could paint it yellow first because the blue in this napkin is so dark that it might be fine. What you can do is test a small piece of napkin on something else to see if you like it or not. I personally didn't want the middle of the design to be yellow as well, so even if it did work, I wouldn't have done it. So for any decoupage, test out the color you want to use as the base coat with a piece of your desired design and see how it looks before committing to it. I gave it a second coat once the first one was dry and let that dry. You can leave it as is or outline all the designs with white acrylic paint as I did to give it that pop. I used a thin brush and thinned out the paint for this part as well. And finally, seal it with your favorite sealer or give it a few coats of Mod Podge. Well, my crafty fam, seeing as I wasn't feeling so good this past week, I decided to take the opportunity to make my vase. This was an easy one as I had already done one similar to it, so I knew exactly how to execute the idea. I also wanted to try and help those of you who are having trouble with this technique and to answer some of the questions about it. I hope this tutorial was helpful and that you decide to give it another try. I do love how it came out and I really enjoy making this style vase. Remember that you can switch the colors to fit your decor or event. As always, have fun, be creative, and make a mess. Thanks for watching! If you like this video, please don't forget to thumbs it up as it helps the growth of the channel and to show your support. If you're new here, I hope you consider subscribing to get updates on future videos. And remember, do it yourself. There's no need to cry.